Right then Andy, show us what you're using here. These fish are just hurting that white bait on the surface, aren't they? So, what's your tactics from here? Well Dave, I'm using a bubble float, almost filled with water. That's for casting distance, That's yeah. to get the weight on the casting. I'm using a 10 pound fluorocarbon hip hook link. And on to, the end there? To one of these tiny... That's so good, isn't it? That's really dinky, that's tiny. Yeah. Tiny little Which is min well, it's just a little white, we call it white bait lures, right. but it's just a tiny eel, isn't it, Excellent. really? But it's the same size as the white bait that are on Super the surface that the bass are feeding on, so... Excellent. It seems to be working. It's a good just bit of fun on that light like gear. Yeah, it is good fun. Plenty of bass here. <laughs> Look at them all, they're just holding that white bait on the surface. Andy's just cast out. There is his float landing. Shame I have got a bit more of a zoom. He's just winding his float. Look at that, hit the bubble float and then hit the lure. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it, Andy? Looks easy, doesn't it? Superb. There's so many fish here. Uh, Rob's swinging another one in. They're getting bigger, Rob. <laughs> and there's Andy's fish that he just saw him hook. And a little baby. Doesn't matter, mate. There's the bass of all sizes here, aren't there? Yeah. Superb. That is just brilliant sport. When they're feeding like this. You know, it's blowing a bit of a hoolie today, as you can see, but it's blowing the right direction. 